Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at Moving Home from Sands Mines. All right, so what is Moving Home? Uh, basically, it's a moving hole uh, effect. You know where you have a playing card and you punch a hole in it and then you move the hole around? It's one of those, uh, but it's now done with a, a cell phone. So you can do this with your smartphone. You can take the home button that's at the bottom of your phone and manually or mysteriously move it across the face of your phone. Want to see the trailer? This is it. Today, we live in an age where everyone is carrying a cell phone. People are so attached to their phones that it's like they know more about it than they do their own parents. But because of this, imagine how powerful it would be if you could catch them with a bizarre surprise with an object they're most familiar with. What if for a moment you could shatter their sense of reality? For well, the very first time, you can not only move something that is impossible to move, but you are moving a fully functional button. Even better if it goes all the way to here. That you can press before, during, and after that magical moment. And still works. You won't want to miss this, because there is nothing better than moving home. Jump right back. All right, so that was Moving Home from Sands Minds. A couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the very first is, what is in the box? What's in the box? Uh, you're gonna get a DVD, of course. The DVD is uh, 48 minutes long. And then you're gonna get a few of the materials that you're gonna need to construct this gimmick. Is it what I thought? Uh, no, it's not what I thought. It's not what I thought at all. I kind of thought from watching the video that it was a program, like it was a downloaded app. Like, you know, the, it was just a, a, a black screen, quote unquote, and the digital button was moving around. But this is an actual physical button. It's a physical button that you can touch that moves around the surface of your phone. I also thought maybe that this was gonna be one of those uh, tricks that Sans Minds has put out before where it's only limited to iPhone. And that's not true either. This is actually uh, available for any of your phones so long as you're willing to put in the work. How are the angles? Uh, the angles on this, uh, I would say, really the angle is light sensitivity, okay? You're gonna run into the same issues that you would have if you were in a very light, uh, very bright, very bright sunlight uh, area. Um, because of a special magic utility <laughs> that is light restrictive, um, I think uh, that would be your strongest angle. Can it be inspected? Uh, really all the gimmickry that's involved with making the button move, that will all have to be rung in to start your trick and ditched in order for it to be inspected. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, just like any other Sans Minds video, uh, they make really great DVDs. Of course, you're gonna have Jason out in the street uh, performing for people that are very uh, excitable. And then you're gonna have Herman back in the Sands Mind studio teaching uh, in a, always, he always wears a really nice jacket uh, sitting on the infamous Sands Mind's couch. Is it well made? Okay, so not a lot comes with this, all right? Because you're gonna need to manually build it yourself. And depending on what kind of phone you're using, it'll vary uh, from, phone to phone, okay? So you're gonna need to be able to perfectly scan, like photocopy perfectly scan your phone. And we're talking color match scan, okay? It's gotta look perfect. And you're also gonna have to be able to have access to photo editing software to manipulate that scan after you've scanned it. And then you'll have to take those scans and watch the DVD and craft this gimmick using a bunch of other materials that aren't included, and then using the two materials that are included. As far as gimmick construction goes, you gotta think that of the 48 minutes that's coming on this DVD, half of the DVD, okay, half of the DVD is devoted to gimmick construction and setup. The rest of it 
is devoted to performance. How much practice does this require? Um, this, this trick has uh, one of two ways you can perform this. You can do this as a manual button move, meaning you can hold the phone, put your finger on the button, and manually move the button. Okay, That's probably the easiest, and probably would take the least amount of setup and the least amount of practice. The other one is the automatic or the mysterious uh, way to make it move, which would be just to hold the phone and the button glides on its own. That one will take some practice. Uh, you'll have to do that in front of a mirror. Uh, again, like I said, you'll have to test out some different lighting situations. Um, but yeah, those will be your two arenas for practicing. All right, so how much setup and reset is there? Um, the gaff, the entire gaff, once it's, con once it's constructed, could rest inside um, a loose thumb tip. And that's a good way to carry it around just to keep it from getting bent or destroyed in your pocket. Positives. All right, so what are the positives to moving home from Sands Mines? Uh, the moving hole routine has never been more relevant. This is street magic at its most extreme. I think fans of magic and technology have found a new home. Negatives. All right, so what are the negatives to moving home? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, gimmick construction, number one, I hate building gimmicks. And this is a really labor intensive uh, gimmick to build. And then on top of that, having to make scans and photo editing software and all that stuff, like, ugh, like it's just a lot, all right? You gotta really wanna do this trick uh, to get involved in the gimmick construction, okay? And then even after the gimmick is built, it feels kind of flimsy, just depending on, you know, materials you use. I would say maybe build it better than what they teach you. Uh, and just, and that's just, that, that's just me. Uh, portability also seems a little bit uh, of an issue. I mean, resting it all inside of a loose thumb tip, just knowing what's inside of there, uh, it, it just seems kind of flimsy and uh, I don't know. I, I didn't love the gimmick construction part of it. I didn't love the portability of it. So that was, those are my two negatives. Is it worth your money? Uh, it is $30, okay? It's $30 for the DVD, and like I said, some really small materials that uh, probably aren't worth that, you know? So it, it is kind of a high price tag for the, the amount of work and effort that you're gonna need to put into this, and, and the more money that you'll need to spend, and the time that it'll take to build this gimmick. So read some other reviews, watch the trailers some more, and just decide if you think this is gonna be what you are looking for. Who would like this? I think fans of the moving hole routine would like this. I think people that love magic tricks that involve technology, I think would definitely like this. Plus, I think if you're a fan of Sans Minds, like if you're a Sans Minds groupie, Sans Minds junkie, this is, this is your candy, right? This is the kind of stuff that you love. All right, so like I said, just do your homework and just see if this maybe uh, might fit into your routine. All right, so that is moving home from Sans Minds. As always, I wanna thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase this for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.